Alright, peace be with you all. Glory to Jesus Christ. Just ran up the stairs, so... Okay. This video is about rejection, and it was suggested by Kelly Douglas, uh, the topic was. So... Rejection is obviously when you, the person, want to be in a relationship with another person or whatnot, and they turn you down. So, in life, when you are rejected, uh, there are a couple ways you can respond. First is to feel bad about it and sort of not take it well, or you could look at it as an opportunity to be free of commitment, and you could look at it as, you know, I would have had more responsibilities and someone to look after if they wouldn't have rejected me, so you could look at it that way. You could say, uh, this is really mostly a good thing, and all of that. Uh, for me, it would be about uh, looking at it in a way, uh, well, let's be honest, I probably wouldn't uh, get rejected. I would reject. Um, then again, I probably wouldn't be able to reject someone either. I wouldn't have the opportunity to do that. So, uh, you could say like, you, could, you just understand that perhaps that person and you weren't meant to be, you know. People say that all the time, oh, it wasn't meant to be or, or whatever, and I don't know what the case is, but For me, it's a non-issue, it's um, something that I don't even care about so much, but for those of you who do, uh, my advice would be, if you're really looking forward to, I don't know, spending time with this person and they reject you, um, be positive and keep looking, I guess, and don't lose hope. Um, eyes look red or something, but, uh, you know, you just have to keep going, going forward, um, keep, keep at it, and stay positive, so, to put this in a faith context, really, there's the only thing I can say is it wasn't meant to be, you know. But then again, you you may end up with that person later. Uh, who knows? This isn't really my area of expertise, but um, I've had a couple of one, I, I think, instance of this, and it, at the time, it was upsetting, but, uh, you know, that was a long time ago, uh, quite a long time ago, and so now, it's, it's nothing to me, but, um, you know, I see a lot of people that, I know a lot of people that are, you know, romantics or, you know, allosexual who want uh, sex, uh, they want to do that, and 
for them, you know, being the uh, me being the monastic urbanite, I would say get married first. But you know, um, that may most likely not happen. Uh, but you know, sex. If you talk about sex, which I haven't really talked about sex yet, which now that I think about it, I probably I could. Um, but uh, I think I mentioned things like nudity in the media, and uh, and then sexuality, over-sexualized culture, uh, stuff like that, I guess. But sex uh, itself, which really is not terribly interesting uh, from a monk monk's perspective uh, even an urban monk um, and I'm, I'm being serious so if, if you're looking for that uh, my advice is obviously to look to the soul first uh, what you should do is be weary um, wary uh, be aware really of or leery uh, whichever those words applies you have to be aware of your male um, be aware of the female who wants your soul, uh, who doesn't care about you, who gets into a relationship with you, let's say you're willing, and you want a relationship too, or you think you do, if you engage with her, and you find out that she is devoid of soulfulness, uh, devoid of rationality, you know, she, let's say she's completely selfish and, and doesn't value you, really, she doesn't value what you two can do together, but more what she always wants. Don't be that way yourself either. Uh, be discerning, be truthful, honest in all situations, and don't be afraid. Uh, you know, it sounds like I go off the rails a bit sometimes, but but uh, things come to my attention, and I I remember them. That would be a good point to add. So be aware. Uh, that's my first real advice: is be aware of this female. And ladies, uh, if you're out there, uh, which, based on my assumptions, you're not. Um, for females, uh, if they come across this video somehow, uh, be aware of yourself. Um, I'm assuming you're a faithful person, and I don't mean faithful in uh, the monogamous sense, either uh, faithful as in spirit, spiritness, spirit, spirituality, uh, spiritness, but, um, everyone should be aware. So, I'm not gonna lie. So, anyway, that's my first advice. Be aware. Kind of like the Boy Scouts. Second, uh, or is that be prepared? Be prepared, too. Uh, but the second point of advice is to be faithful, uh, be smart. So with sex, I, you know, I cannot tell anyone what to do, and I'm not going to. Um, my advice is simply. 
be smart. Uh, the thing is, premarital sex can be quite harmful. I can't speak from experience though. Uh, the, the thing is, there it, it's a very tough thing to deal with. You know, the, the issue is two souls. You have two people who engage in a specific way and that can be damaging when done in wrong circumstances. Uh, so with that I would recommend not doing that. <laughs> uh, commitment is always very much a good thing for several reasons. Harm is one and uh, you know I think we all know a lot of the issues. Uh, pregnancy could be one. Uh, just, you know, really though, it's the two souls engaging and it's it's just greater than any of us think it is. Um, the issue of sexuality. People engage in something and play with something they don't understand. When they do that, it can harm them. And it does harm them, uh, even if they don't know it. Uh, that can be the case with many things, but this in particular is a big issue. So, second point is I would say uh, make sure you're completely uh, committed. And marriage is always a good idea for that, but then again, look at our society. A lot of people are interested in holy matrimony. I get it. But that's what my second point of advice would be. And again, we weren't, you know, the question was about sex, was about rejection. But it all ties in. Um, so, those are my two pieces of advice. You know, be aware and be committed. Um, so, if you're rejected, don't worry. Just think through it and realize that it may not be uh, meant to be. Um, that's. That's all. Uh, IV rejection is, is potentially selfish, depending. Um, maybe she, the rejector, the rejectist, um, <laughs> making up words, but uh, she may have just not thought through it. She doesn't think, perhaps. Maybe she's the type that doesn't think at all. And so, if she wouldn't have rejected you, maybe you would have gotten into a relationship with her and realized how selfish and narcissistic she was. And I'm not necessarily speaking from experience there, although actually I have had some instances. But be aware. Um, and lastly, to finish this up, I would say don't sweat it. Don't worry about it, man. Uh, it's not the end of the world, you know. Being alone, being single, is not lonely. Uh, unless you make it lonely. I've realized in becoming more monk-like, I guess, sort of, um, spiritually speaking, that, or really, f spiritual focus, um, it's not like I've arrived at any thing, it's just a different headspace, uh, but the society we live in really puts too much emphasis on relationships while not even taking it really seriously in the first place. Things such as marriage and commitment are seen as like, oh yeah, you know, oh, that, like not seriously, um, but yet they are like, oh, you need a man, you need a woman. You know, everyone has somebody out there, and I call bull on that because look at all the monks, the nuns, the the people, the priests and different, well, the priests who aren't married, uh, some are, but the 
things like that, you know. People can be perfectly fine being uh, celibate and abstinent and, you know, people think, they only think we need, we need sex and we need somebody. We need to have a counterpart and yet they don't even put the emphasis on the trueness of matrimony. They don't even put the emphasis on what that means, you know, sacrifice and actually loving somebody, it's kind of like seen as a old school silly thing that it's not as important as it was and so you know you look at the divorce rate like what 50% or something in America, 60% even I mean it's stuff like that um, so don't sweat it embrace the freedom of being you and don't limit yourself to that either uh, you know just stay open um, so that's it really uh, one last little thing and I'm saying bye I got this shirt it's pretty awesome man it's got the cross it says salvation over here it's got a uh, sort of Syriac cross over here and then there's like a Byzantine sort of like almost crusader cross too, which that's an oxymoron crusader and Byzantine, but you know, um, that's what it is, so and it's blue. That's all. I uh, hope that helped. I'll see you guys later. Christos and Esty.